All right, if you're just tuning in for the second date, I probably need to apologize. Yeah. Because an incident happened in the first part there where I got so upset, I had to leave the room. Yeah. And it's not because of anything our listener Michelle did. Mm -hmm. She sounds lovely, actually. Yeah, Mm -hmm. she does. And she met a guy at a laundromat when the change machine happened to be broken. It's just that I've been so jaded by this show. Like, I've heard so many of these cheesy rom com love stories on the second dates, and I just don't buy it anymore. Oh, Jeff, you gotta, just, still you gotta have faith in love, bro. Hope is important in life, know, you know? But it's a, especially it whenever we call a guy, because we'll call them, it turns out, oh, they set up some elaborate, like, shady scheme to trick women into thinking that they've had this romantic chance encounter, <laughs> and then they manipulate their emotions to slide into their DMs, and next thing you know, he's spending the night not calling her back, which, surprise, Uh-oh. he did. Yeah, And I his know. name is Ryder. Okay. So, no see, surprise there. There are a lot of red flags here. I understand, but I'm, I, I'm one, just Jeff. pushing by them. Pushing by them, but I'm looking at the positive, You're cool Jeffrey. with men manipulating women just to sleep with them. That's what you're saying. Yeah, as long as the women are okay being manipulated, All right. I suppose. Brooke is pro-manipulation. I am not. But... Anyway, I'm sorry, Michelle, for getting so heated. I just, I want good things to happen for you. Thank you. I just, no, it's not. I genuinely want good things to happen for you. I'm just worried because whenever we do, whenever we do calls like this, there's always some weird thing that the guy has in his back pocket. Yeah. It's like he's done this 20 times the, over the last week. Yeah, but week. here's the thing. She's the one that invited this guy to her house. He didn't invite her over. All you need is it for it to work one time, for them to have one genuine connection and find love, and that's what we're here for, Jeff. Okay, no, I... That's a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> it is a one in a million, We're just going for a second one. date, yeah. so don't worry. Okay. I'm so, okay. I'm, so I am sorry, Michelle, okay? No, no, I am sorry that I triggered you in a very specific way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very specific. In the laundromat way. <laughs> Michelle, what, I mean, do you think he's not calling you back just because he's a one and done type of dude or what? I hope not because I feel like I have pretty good instincts in that way. Mm-hmm. And this felt so genuine. I'd have to reexamine everything that I, that I already know about men. Do you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> all I know is that you're either going to be calling a psychologist after this or I'm probably going to have to go to one, depending <laughs> on what he says. That should probably happen anyway. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like it, actually. I, I guess I do need to talk to someone. Nothing yeah. stable around here, Jeff. All right, but let's knock this out first. I'm going to dial Ryder's phone number. You ready? I am. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Ryder, please? Yeah, this is him. Hey, Ryder. My name's Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. You have a second to talk with us? You're from what? Radio show? Who are you? I'm Brooke. I'm here, too. And Jose is also here. Hey, what's up? We are a morning radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Okay, yeah. I just gotta say, Ryder, you have a very masculine, manly voice. What? I just think. Did you forget your meds this morning or something? <laughs> You're all over the place, Jeffrey. I'm just What's trying. Going on? I'm trying to get to know Ryder a little bit okay. because I have something very intimate to ask you, and I want to build good rapport. <laughs> Why would you say it that way? I kind of want to leave now. Hey, this is weird. <laughs> Ryder, it's not that weird. It's something we do on our show all the time. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing here is called a second date. That's where if you go on a date with someone and afterwards, if they're not calling you back, you can email our show and we'll call the person to try and figure out why. Mm -hmm. So someone emailed us about you. Okay. Oh, gosh. Been on any dates lately? I know. Just even that okay sounds like you have a couple of options that came to mind. (laughs) Do you remember going on a date with a woman named Michelle? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. You met Michelle at the laundromat, and yeah. that was cool. That was good. Yeah, Michelle told us about how it all played out. Did she tell you all of it? Well, she told us what she knew from her perspective, that you guys met when the laundry change machine wasn't working. Fine. Okay. And you, oh, that was fine. You huh? spotted her two extra quarters for her laundry and said that she owed you a beer. So you guys went out and got a beer. Yeah. Very smooth. Mm-hmm. And so now we're we're wondering why you're not calling Michelle back after you guys spent the night together. Yeah, it was a strange happening. Strange. What was strange about it? So I'm, I slept over, and then, I don't know, it was around, like, maybe 1, 1.30 or so. Uh-huh. I wake up, and I'm just getting, like, pummeled. What do you mean, pummeled? Pummeled, like, punched? Like she had a boyfriend that walked in or something? Oh, wow. No, no, like... She's like tossing elbows. <laughs> Aggressive sleeper. What do you mean? 
Bad is dream. she's just like smashing me with her elbows. Okay. <laughs> while you're sleeping? Uh, well, yeah, while I'm sleeping, and then I wake up. And, like two or three times, she just smashed me with her elbows. Oh. And I was, eventually, I was just like, ah, what are you doing? Stop. And then <laughs> she just sat straight up, and she just like looks me straight in the eyes, and she just says, you get what you deserve. What? What? Wow. Wait, she was awake? I thought she was just like sleeping and doing this in her sleep. Yeah, and then I, I started like reacting vocally, and she just hits me with, you get what you deserve, and then just like relaxes and passes back out. Oh my <gasps> God. Why would she say that? I don't know, man. I just got out of there. Uh, yeah. Don't you want to like ask her like why she did that to you? Not really. You're, you're scared of her. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if she's got some issues going on or something, or if that's just like what she's into, and she just brings people back and then beats them up. But <laughs> Oh, so you think that she was hitting you on purpose? I don't know. Maybe I was wrong about this whole call. Maybe the creep isn't Ryder. Maybe the creep's Michelle. Uh-oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> but Uh-oh. there was a creep for you, yeah. Jeffrey. Well, There's you know what? Someone's creepy here. Let's find out because, Ryder, I need to tell you that Michelle's actually been on the other line listening and she heard everything that you said. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, she's not. No, she is. She's actually been on the other line. Michelle, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, God, you sound so sweet. I mean, I don't remember any of that. Like, I'm so sorry if I hurt you. But also, like, why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you wake me up? It sounds like he did. I mean, right over her eyes open when she said that to you? Yeah. Yeah. It like, sometimes creepy. it seems like I'm awake, but I'm actually fully asleep. I have no memory of this. Mm. That feels so crazy. I don't know if that would hold um, up in a court of law. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that freaks me out more that you don't know if you're awake or not. I mean, like, <laughs> what else can you do in your sleep? Yeah. <laughs> I have never hit anyone, to my knowledge, in my sleep before, and I do not think it, I hope it will never happen again. Uh-oh. But, like, also, you should have texted me and been like, hey, remember when you hit me in your sleep? And then I would have been like, no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no. Like Maybe you should have communicated. Yeah, no, Michelle, I, say anything. I can't, I don't think we can victim blame on this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think that's yeah. his fault. Why didn't you ask me why I beat you up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I said you get what you deserve, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe there's something deeper here that you don't even know about, Michelle, because you said you get what you deserve. I was probably dreaming about an ex or something. You know what I mean? Okay, that's not making the situation better, Michelle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many exes have you beat up? Yes. None, uh, but I have wanted to, of course. <laughs> Man. I mean, Ryder, you, you've got to believe her, right? She sounds so sincere. This feels insane. Like, somebody telling me that I did this, like, again, like, I apologize, but also, like, don't you think you're blowing this a little bit out of proportion? Like, come on. You hit me, like, right in the eye. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's not like you got a black eye or anything, right, Ryder? Are you blind in that eye now? No, it wasn't that bad, but it still, like, hurt a bunch. No, I'm sure it was really scary, and I, again, I am so sorry. Do you forgive me? I mean, I'm not sure if I can, like, trust you if I sleep over again or something, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe wear a helmet in bed. Yeah, a, foot, a football <laughs> helmet. No, but for real, Ryder, think about it. You guys, I mean, you had a real connection with her, right? Like, your plan was to go on another date prior to the elbow to the eyes. Well, I don't know about that, but at least hook up again. Okay. All right. Well, That's romantic. Well, in that go. case, I would like to offer you, Ryder, to go on another date with Michelle, and we'll pay for it. Ooh. Okay. Is that a yes? That, that was the <laughs> is, what does that mean? You want to do it? I guess. Uh, what are you having like a day lunch? You know what? Honestly, it feels like you're bribing him to date me, and that feels awful. Oh. Well, that's kind of the whole well, point yeah, of the segment. I, mean, I don't know. We always Michelle. offer to pay. It's not just this situation. Yeah. yeah, but the way he said yes to that just to get like a free lunch is like, I don't know. That feels well, bad. So lunch. you don't want to date now? Is that what you're saying, Michelle? It sort of seems like he's kind of a wussy if he can't handle this. I'm not a big person, oh, you know? I'm sorry I didn't fight you when you were asleep. <laughs> I don't think that's Me a too. Show. I'm sorry I didn't sleep fight you. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll take lunch for two if that's 
option. No, oh, no, that's Ryder. That's, that's, that's not how it works, man. So uh, I'm sorry. No second date for either of you. But it sounds like, Michelle, you didn't want one anyway now. So Yeah, no, it's okay. I enjoyed our time together. I'm sorry you're missing out on more of me. All right. Well, have a good one. All right. You see, this is how love should go. Severe disappointment and just a teensy bit of physical assault. Oh, my God. Now it's back to normal. There we go. I love it. All right. We've got an email from a woman named Michelle who wants to do a second date today. And Michelle must be calling us from the 1990s. Why? Because she met a cute guy at a laundromat. Oh, my God. (laughs) Did she also send you an email from her AOL account? Probably. Let me guess, Michelle. You both listened to your Walkman together and then you bought matching track suits took the subway home and watched fresh prince of bel-air on tiba oh you were spying on us okay great yeah okay Okay. (laughs) i knew it (laughs) well that sounds like a a cute story so what's the name of this guy that you met his name is writer Oh, writer. man. Already wow. writer. Well, he's Dude. not from the 90s, that's for sure. I date a writer, too. Yeah. I, mean, I get it. Yeah. You don't even have to know about him. So uh, tell us about how you met Ryder. Yeah, I mean, we met at a laundry mat. It was, it was very much like a mute cute because, like, I needed quarters. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. the change machine wasn't working. Always. Mm. Yeah. And I got frustrated. And this cute guy noticed and asked if he could help. And he was like, well, I have quarters if you have cash. So, like, I really only brought a dollar, but I needed six quarters. Oh, Oh, man. (laughs) So now you're a poor laundromat girl. Yeah. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) And I was like, I have this dollar. And he smiled at me, and he he gave me six quarters. And then he pointed at me, and he was like, you owe me. (laughs) You know what I mean? Oh, Oh, my gosh. I hope you were like, do you have a roll of quarters in your pocket? I don't know about this. (laughs) That is actually adorable. Is it? It is. is it really? I, like it. Oh I don't God. know. I yeah. feel Ryder, like and I... he had the perfect amount of quarters, uh, and he was. It's there too at the perfect, right is time. what it is, Brooke. What are Who you cares? Saying? Just let us enjoy life, no, Jeffrey. I, I don't know if it's from doing this show too <sighs> much, but we've heard so many of these dating You're stories. Jaded. I immediately have PTSD about this. I feel like All there right. must be ulterior Jeffrey? motives with this. I don't. I don't. I feel like Calm I'm going to screw down. this up, Michelle. Calm Honestly, down. I feel like I'm going to screw this up for you. And I, yeah. if I talk with you, then he no. must have some weird Je- motive, like he wanted to, no. like, we you know, get it. meet we get you it. and like wash your panties for you in there oh, or something like that. Yeah. Whatever he's up to, I, Michelle, I'm, okay. you know what I'm saying? You deserve better, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You deserve- he just gave her two extra quarters, you- Jeffrey. No, I'm saying you deserve to have a host who's not jaded like oh. me, who's actually open to real love oh. and a real love story. So you know what? I'm reclusing myself from this second no, date. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave the room, Brooke. You, you know what, Brooke? Oh, no. You take over. No, you take over. he's I'm literally done. He's he's so Michelle. dumb. Jeff, you Why is this? Run? Okay, yeah, no, and oh he God. left the room, but he that's fine. That's fine. I am so into your story right now. Wow. How did you guys go out on a date? I don't care about Jeffrey's issues. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, like, I did my laundry, and then he comes over to me, and he gives me his card, and he's like, you know, when you're ready to repay me, you can buy me a beer. Okay, oh, now so... I'm leaving. This guy's setting you up. No, I'm no! kidding. <laughs> no, you no. Could. That's cute, actually. So you, I mean, like, you actually called him, because that's always a nervous point. Like, yeah, you know, know, do I actually do it? Did you text him? You called him? Well, look who's walked back in okay, the door. Okay, listen, you guys right. keep interrupting her story. <laughs> I know sorry. Jeffrey is back, okay? They're going for a beer now. That's where Jeff- we're at, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's going for oh, a really? Beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a beer, dude. It's oh, just okay. a beer. He's mad. It's oh. like, oh, man, you must have been traumatized because this is like, I feel like a very normal story. And you- <laughs> It really is, Jeff. Let her look. Okay, okay, no, go, go, no okay. go ahead. I'm sure it was very romantic. We're, what do you do? We're, we're at the bar now. Okay, so we're at the bar, and we have a really good time. Turns out that we both really love movies, and so we talked a lot about Parasite, because that was, like, both of our oh, favorite yeah. movies. I still haven't past seen year. that. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. You have to see it. It's so good. So we, we talked a lot about that, and then, I mean, he ends up spending the night at my place. Oh, okay. Ooh. So we went from Parasite right back to your place. Hey. Like, uh-huh. oh, you like yeah. movies, I like movies, let's sleep together. Parasite got you going. Isn't that like a horror movie where people are so together? I wouldn't call it a horror movie, okay. but it's very good. Okay, it's, think... you have to see okay, it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How did you guys get back to your place? Did you invite him? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, it just felt right. It did feel right. Did you it? No, it just, Yeah. <laughs> Jeff is not shocked that you guys slept together at all. So how was it? I mean, you don't have to give us all the details, but... Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but I had a great time.
Good. Okay. Best two minutes of your life, I'm guessing. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. maybe yeah. I need to leave the room again. No. Okay. Just, Sorry, keep going, Michelle. Tell me more about... Aren't you glad that he didn't kill me or something? Like, <laughs> just be happy. And that would be different from at least all the other dates that we've heard, so I would have taken that, but that's okay. Yeah, you'd be talking to a ghost. Yeah, how would she be on the phone? Now, that okay. would be a cool second date. Okay. But no, let's let's go back to this. Okay, so you slept with him, and then what? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, so then in the morning, I woke up, and just like a dumb rom-com, he was gone. Uh, so, yeah. Did he tell you beforehand? I mean, he did hand you a business card that he had work <laughs> in the morning. No, it really wasn't discussed. It was a big bummer. Aww. So it was such a cute, like, little meeting, and, like, our date was really nice, and everything was really nice. So I was sort of worried he was kind of like a player, which is why I'm turning to you guys. Okay. I need a little bit of help through this. I think Jeff agrees with that statement. I mean, yeah. I kind of do too. Not I as don't know. As Jeff, I mean, he no. kind of got what he quote unquote wanted and then now he moved I'm on. sure he'll, you know, find you at the airport and go past security, meet you at the gate, stop you from boarding a plane, play like a boom box outside of your window till you fall in love. But I won't know until we call him. So let's play a song. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll get your second dude. Okay, Michelle? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>